Bimal, you've been telling us about how you know technology like uh, drones are uh, already in pilot stage, and you would be able to service the uh, towers to ensure that there's you know even minimal uh, downtime for the towers. But there is also an overwhelming dependence on uh, fossil fuel, on diesel, uh, to make sure that the towers are running constantly, and that has a, a serious implication on environment, on, on the carbon footprint. Now, what are the efforts on to ensure that, you know, the dependence on diesel, especially when you can't probably depend on electricity supply in all the areas, what is the way ahead? So, this is, a, this is one topic which this entire company is extremely passionate about. Uh, and ever since our inception, uh, environment has been one of our values and as I did mention that uh, environment uh, uh, being value, we continue to practice uh, anything and everything around environment and celebrate it as well. Uh, diesel being one of our, our critical resources to fire up uh, our towers uh, became one of the, the areas of improvement which we wanted to, to bring in as well. Uh, and we started lots of initiatives, uh, initiatives around first energy consumption reduction, then making sure that we turn our sites into greener sites, which means we do not fill diesel. Uh, when we started this endeavor, we realized that uh, there was lots of resistance because we would, we would be getting into risk of, let's say, outages. So we did, uh, typically through design thinking, we actually did uh, some prototypes. So the first initiative was to declare cities green and Ahmedabad was the first green city and we declared it in the media as well. From there on we actually declared 11 cities as green cities. From there we started to say this is becoming a very limiting exercise. We actually went on a site mode and started to say we will declare sites as green. Now green typically means that we do not remove DG set but we seal the DG set and we do not fill diesel. And this is ob obviously has been through uh, storage of batteries and so on and so forth on a site. So intervention and capex is required to convert. So what are the options? If you don't use DG sets and diesel, then what are the alternate uh, options for, uh, you know, powering the tower? So once again, we have options like large batteries, which are sufficient enough to last a site for the outage, which is statistically expected. So there is a lot of analytics which goes behind to put in what kind of storage and what kind of uh, fast charging batteries which we can put in as well. And that is one solution which has worked. But mind you, besides this, we also need to reduce the consumption as well. And one initiative which we brought in there was to retire air conditioners from our, our system. And the other initiative uh, which we call is indoor to outdoor conversion in which we almost switched off more than 30, 35,000 uh, sites. Uh, 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 air conditioners were retired and we converted them to green. I am happy to say that we are currently almost 55,000 uh, green sites which was actually unheard of. Nobody would have uh, thought that we would reach that level as well. Is solar an option? So I'll, I'll come to the renewable uh, part of this because uh, I, I must say that this initiative of ours and the scale at which we did it uh, is unparalleled in the world. I'm saying in the world because uh, uh, we were granted twice a green award in, in Barcelona in uh, GSMA by GSMA uh, in green category as well. So <coughs> very exciting uh, on one side. Second, we we did our BHAGs once again. Uh, this is the, the, the audacious goals for next five years starting this March. And uh, we went to our, our people once again to say, what would you like this Indus Towers to be in the next five years? And the kind of response we got in the environment category uh, is, is worth sharing. Uh, people said, we certainly want to go diesel free in the next five years. And going diesel free uh, some of the alternatives and some of the initiatives which we would be investing and we have already invested in is, is solar. Uh, solar had its own limitations earlier uh, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, large storage batteries required, uh, etc. 
but with the new government policies coming in, in from the, the state governments with open access and uh, net metering, it is becoming one of the most exciting areas to look at and go renewable as well. And I think we will be at the, the uh, cutting edge and of uh, this initiative uh, in certainly going for, forward. Uh, here, uh, you know, you mentioned policy. Now, you know, telecom sector uh, has uh, had its own, uh, you know, more than its share of exciting twists and turns in policy from uh, our national telecom policies to, uh, you know, several issues on spectrum, etc. But uh, what I want to ask you is that as, as an infrastructure service provider, um, what are the uh, hopes that you have in terms of improving your ease of doing business? What should be done? What should the government look at? Because, you know, telecom connectivity is very critical for various reasons which uh, are so, so uh, well defined. What needs to be done? to ensure that uh, companies such as yours uh, can expand at an even faster uh, pace to meet the needs uh, of uh, India? So uh, let, me, let me say this, that uh, uh, we have been seeing lots of positive policy uh, changes uh, in, in last couple of years as well. All the difficult topics are coming in for discussion and a lot of them are actually getting better and better uh, when it comes to policy framework. However, we have a still a long way to go in terms of, you know, getting and providing more locations, more towers, getting uh, uh, at least the, the financial framework uh, right uh, as well. I would say all these topics in various states are under discussion. Uh, if we can hasten up and make sure that we, we have a finality to this discussion, uh, I would say would be much, much better for this industry and not only for this industry, it would, it would translate to a better customer experience any day uh, if we get more and more uh, locations. As a leader, being leader in this industry, uh, being the largest telecom tower company, I think we are fully supportive of any and every initiative or policy initiative coming in from the government and we have been participating in a, in a, a, a positive dialogue with the government and we are eagerly awaiting uh, closure of some of those policies as well. Thank you so much Bimal and I hope that uh, thanks to your efforts and uh, improving the services, the uh, signal bars on our cell phone remain as strong as ever almost all the time. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure being here.